focused on this episode of Hit The Mahogany, uh, we're going to do something a little bit different. Uh, I enjoy Negronis, you know, it's, as I've said before, it's uh, something that you need to practice at, but uh, when you have a Negroni, there's different ways that you can actually make it. What do I mean by that? Well, you've got different ingredients, but whatever you like, you actually like. And one of the core ingredients, of course, is uh, sweet vermouth. So what we're going to do is we're going to try a few Negronis with a few different vermouths and see what each of them tastes like. Okay, so what I have here, I've got four. Uh, hopefully you can get your hands on any of these, the varying prices. Uh, I, I do want to say, I'm not going to say that I put, you know, one over the other. It's, it's I, as you've seen with the, the drinks that I do, it's whatever you like, and you can adjust that to your own flavours. If you like things sweeter, you like things sour, it really is what you actually like. But it's interesting just to try different things at the same time and see what the differences are. I haven't actually done this before, and I haven't tasted them like this. I just got them all set up just now. So I'm not actually quite sure how they all compare one after the other. So what we'll do is, well, you know what? We'll try a little taste of sweet vermouth straight up here. So the doll in here, uh, medium priced one, I uh, can usually get it anywhere. Let's have a quick taste of this one. Sweet up front, soft, plum. It's a little bit of tannin coming at the end, not much though. Uh, a little bit of wood, oh, and then you get a little bit more of the tannin just creeping at the end. It's a soft one, it's subtle. It's just well balanced actually. It's good, definitely. And it's not overly sweet. It's nice. All right, quick drink of water. I should maybe have had a drink of Negroni just to clean my palate. Let's try the second one here, which is our, uh, which one did we have here? Oh, Noale Pratt. So let's uh, give this one a shot. You probably get your hands on this one uh, everywhere as well, of course, so you know they're the, these ones are French, uh, so you can usually get them anywhere in the, the, the world. Mm. So this one, right up front, a little bit more astringent. Definitely more tannin, you get more of it coming at the end, so you've got sweet, then you've got that tannin, bitter with a slight sourness at the end. You're still getting the fruits coming through. That's it. I think it's a little bit, it's a little bit thinner, not quite as soft on the palate as the Dolan. Uh, but again, it's not bad. It's different. You know, it's like if you're drinking wine. Some people like German wines. Some people like French wines. You know, it depends on the grape variety as well. They're all different, and everybody likes their own. You know. Here we've got the. This is meant to be the Rolls Royce of it, the Antica formula. Uh, this is uh, more. This I think this is the most expensive one out there, definitely. It's actually darker in colour as well. But let's give this one a little taste. Hmm. Hmm. It's a complex flavour, actually. Again, soft on the palate, like the Dolan. What's interesting is, is it hits you in the front though. It's almost as though there's an aniseedy flavour. It's not aniseed, but there's it's not astringent. There's just something that comes in at the front there. There's a bit more vanilla coming through in this one. Definitely a little bit of. Mm. Now I get a Christmas cake. It's definitely coming through in this. You got that that alcohol and all those fruits in there. I almost think of it as almost like a, mm, a, I was going to say cookie dough there, but more like Christmas cake dough actually. It's a good complex flavour. Uh, definitely one that's, uh, uh, it's up to you whether you decide it's worth the, 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 the money or not, you know, definitely. I like that one. It is a good one. Uh, and in the end here we've got the uh, Martini Rosso. Give it a fair shake. <clears throat> of course, because they're all 
you know, they're sweet vermouths, you get that stickiness, of course, on your lips. Uh, you should be able to tell as well, you know, when you actually look at a glass, and you do this with wine as well, if you swill it around, you'll see the legs as it drips back down the glass after you've swilled it around. And those legs generally dictate how sweet it is because of the viscosity of it. So the thicker those legs are and the, the length of time it takes them to come down is generally a sweeter drink. Try that yourself uh, with any liqueurs, whiskies, anything like that. You'll be able to see it yourself. Hmm. Okay, straight away, martini, less body in it. It's actually more of a, uh, there's a thinner consistency to the mouthfeel in it. Not quite as deep. There's really no, and honestly there's very little in tannins, so it's very, it remains sweet all the way through. So I'd say, I, I think this one, if you certainly like a little bit more sweetness offsetting the bitterness of Campari, then this is probably your one. This one's lighter. I think this is probably the least expensive out of all of them, actually. Uh, it's uh, it's not bad. It just stays a little bit too sweet for too long. And as I say, the, the complexity of it is certainly a, a lot less complex than some of these others. All right. That was the easy part. Now the fun part. I am going to make up a Negroni with each of these. Uh, and we'll see how they taste mixed in with the uh, Campari and gin, okay? And there I've knocked up some Negronis. Now what we've done here is, surprise, surprise, mm, Campari. Yeah, that's you know, Negroni. Of course you can use other uh, Amaros if you want, but uh, you know what, we're sticking with the Campari. And I used uh, standard all the way through each of them because we wanted to keep the flavour the same from the gin perspective. Used our uh, old friend here, Tankery London Dry Gin. Made them up, same order. Uh, easy with Negronis, as you know, if you've watched one of the, the other videos around about Negronis or Negroni riffs, equal parts. Uh, so since I'm going to have to drink all of these myself eventually, uh, I'm going to drink responsibly like you should do. So each of these are actually half. So it's half ounce of gin, half ounce of Campari, and half ounce of the sweet vermouth in there. Uh, chilled and then a large ice cube to keep them cold but controlling the dilution as well. All right, let's go through these and see what they actually, they're quite beautiful colour actually, aren't they? They really are. Campari's freaking awesome. And uh, I think I mentioned this before, I think it used to be uh, coloured using the ground up bugs, the cochineal, 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 uh, but uh, they don't do that anymore, thankfully. Uh, so it's uh, vegan maybe? Vegetarian, anyway. All right, so this one is our Dolan. Good balance, of course, as you know. You're gonna get the Campari hitting you first. Gin in the back end, you've got that spirit, the warmth. Just a hint of sweetness at the beginning with the Dolan. Uh, lingers, lingers, and then just a very faint tan and bitterness coming in at the back end. Of course, if you're not used to Negronis, the whole thing just tastes completely bitter. That's nice, nice bit of sweetness there, definitely. And there's not, it's strong enough to stand up to the Campari. There's a little bit of the, yeah, the tannins. A little bit of that kind of plum flavour is floating around in there as well. So it's good, definitely, definitely. I like that. They're all called Negroni, I'm going to like all of them. All right, next one we have is our Noali Prat. Let's give this one a taste. Okay, same as when I actually tasted by itself. Right up front, very sharp. Campari comes straight through, gin comes straight through. And it's almost as though this vermouth's on the same sort of spiciness that might be a good way of putting it. There is a spiciness, maybe not an astringency, but there's more of a spiciness at the front end of it. Uh, again, stands up well. Not quite as deep in the flavour. Uh, and you don't have that mellow or the tannin coming in at the back end quite as much. It really, 
all three seem to hit you right at the same time, right at the front of your palate. It's a good one. If you like that, you like it, you know? All right. A uh, third one. Carpana. Antica formula. Let's give this baby a taste as well, okay? Mmm. It's back to front. The vermouth comes through on that one, straight away at the front. Sweetness, strength, you've got the depth. Uh, then the Campari comes in at the back end. It's still the gin just floating underneath there. I think the vermouth here really does stand out with this Negroni. It really, really does. It stands well on its own. Adds a great dimension to it, definitely. Uh, some people may not like it though. As I said before, and I'll keep saying it again and again, whatever you actually like. But that's interesting, there's there's less of that bitterness. Everything seems to blend very well together. The vermouth in this one actually does pull it all together. And the vermouth, I think, is a little bit of a star in that one, definitely. Okay. Oh, excuse me. All right, that's the Carpana. Uh, last one, our uh, Martini Rosso. Rossi, sorry. Campari comes through first, sweetness, gin still there, there's more of a sweetness, really kind of sweetness, the depth that you get from some of the others, not quite there with Martini Rossi, it's not bad though, definitely not bad, uh, uh, very very drinkable, as I said it's a Negroni so, well you're not going to turn your nose up at it, there's no, none of the tannins, no real vanilla or real fruit fruit flavors coming in. Definitely know that it's a, you know, it's a it's a it's a, it's a fortified wine of one type of it or, or another, but it's a, it's a, it doesn't stand up well with the the Campari and gin. It's not bad, but you know, it's a, it's good, it's good. All right, so my personal favorite, I think if I was going through an order now, you have to remember that. You know, the price, you know, varies significantly what, and as I say, what you like. I really do like, I like the uh, Carpana. I think the Dolan, for me, is a, a very close second, actually. Then the, the Noali Pratt. But that's, it's, it's interesting. The, these two here are a little bit different for me because this one has that spiny, spiciness and astringency. It doesn't seem to pair well with it just as, just as much. Not quite sure. And uh, I think this, the, the, the Martini Rossi needs, it could do with just a little bit more body in there. That's just my opinion. You may have something completely different. Knock your socks off. But anyway, that was me trying four different sweet vermouths uh, in a Negroni. Uh, enjoy your Negronis. And uh, you know what? I'll go for this one. Enjoy your Negronis. Drink responsibly and uh, cheers.